Everybody, it is the awesome cast. It is six years in the making. It is at Looking for Group Pittsburgh. We have a bit of an audience here. Hello, audience. Hello. They're waving. They're waving. <laughs> they're waving. They're, they all waved and said hello. <laughs> Not applaud. That, that was the best reaction ever. <laughs> I, think, I think I can actually show you on this. Yeah, there you go. We got them a little bit in the background there hanging out. Uh, we're going to be talking... Uh, well, we have, everybody can uh, take a turn in here, and we'll be talking with everybody. <laughs> Has Chachi, uh, like, punches us? Ch- okay, we'll explain what Chachi's doing here in a moment. But if it, Well, if you're on video, you see Chachi is playing the HTC Vive that they have here, looking for group. He's uh, poking at things. He's throwing things. Oh. Don't walk that far. Don't walk that far. Your cord's getting short. <laughs> What's that? You peeped up the a what? Oh, one of the cores from Portal. Um, have you have you slingshotted stuff yet? Yeah, that's what I was doing. Okay. <laughs> Chachi, we're going to be... So we'll have at least the visuals here of everybody uh, uh, trying out the HTC Vive, walking around. Hopefully nobody hurts themselves. They should really have a waiver for this thing. Oh, that's getting, that's getting long. Um, but anyways, uh, we are here. Uh, I'm Mike Sorg, at Sorgatron on Twitter. With me, of course, my usual co-host, Katie Dudas, at Dudders on the Twitter, and of course, of the Scarehouse Podcast. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Yay! Get it close to the mic. Hey, everyone. Yes, talk to the mic. Talk to Hi, the Mike. Mic. <laughs> no, uh, wait, wait. And of course, we, we, we had to have once again because I think we call you every year when we have an anniversary at this point. I think so. It, if, if nothing else, I'm going to do these once a year because so that's, because that's I go be and I go listen to the first episode and I'm like, Uncle Crappy was on the first episode <laughs> and I remember yearly and say, hey, you should probably be on the anniversary episode and we at least get you on that. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, thinking of you, thinking of you, <laughs> Uncle Crappy, of course, uh, writer for... Uh, the Green well, this was an interesting thing. So, so I'm looking at, at everything. I was trying to figure out where we were six years ago. Yes. Like, just generally, everybody. And I realized, like, you know, you're still writing, you're still at a paper, mm-hmm. but you're at a much bigger paper now. Mm-hmm. So, so, at least some of us have progressed. Um, it's, it's progression, I'm, it's, but it's different stuff, uh, I, I, but I still have the beer show, um, that's, that's still, a, that's still a thing, uh, so yeah, I guess that, that counts. That's that awesome, counts. that's awesome, and, and so, so first off, I want to ask, kind of, what have you learned in technology in six years? Um, I, well, you posted the link to the first show, uh, and I, I, I learned that I'm still complaining about Facebook. Yeah. So... <laughs> That's that hasn't changed much. You know what's amazing? Did you notice the thing I said at the beginning of that show? Mm-hmm. We're not going to be like the other shows and talk about Facebook and iPhones and stuff all the time, like everybody no. else is. That would be crazy. Guess what we ended up doing <laughs> for the last six years? <laughs> we did such a good job with that. <laughs> Chachi's getting in the shot a little bit and covering you up. This is great. This is the best Don't idea. Don't worry, you're fine. <laughs> oh, you're in a whole other game now. Good luck. This is where I started getting lost. Oh, is it um, drone? I have no idea what this game is. It's like starts start, start, start shooting at you and... Pew things. Pew, pew, nice. pew, pew, pew. Yeah, use the gun thing. Nice. Where, what'd you do with the dog? Dog's gone. Chachi was petting a virtual dog. Yeah. He was fetching with it. It was... It was amazing, and all that all that sound in the background. By the way, I got I got to point out um, the uh, there's an Overwatch um, league playing behind us in here and looking for group. Overwatch just came out last week on PC and, and Xbox, and everybody's uh, uh, apparently having a good time back there. So, <laughs> so they're not all here for us. Um, but anyways, uh, you're supposed to tell them they're all here for us. Yeah. Jeez, pretty clear. Uh, here for us. So, so I wanted to touch base on a few things. Again, it's been six years. <laughs> it's been holy crap. Uh, Rob, Rob De La Creta, who is actually the actual originator of the Awesome Cast. He had the domain name um, and, and, and started the podcast, uh, you know, before us. And we started talking tech. And I was like, I, I can't think of a name for this show. And he's like, Well, I have the Awesome Cast. So we went with it. And there you go. And then he disappeared. Um, I, I asked if he'd be on the show, and he says, as usual, when you ask me to be on the show, I'm not in town. I found out where he is. 
if anybody follows Rob, uh, I think it's Rob J. Yeah, we do up here. Uh, JDLC <laughs> on the on the uh, Instagrams, I think it is. Uh, he's in Iceland. Yes. Yes. Qualifies as not being in. That qualifies Slightly. as, and every time, and, and he's, I, I'm never, I'm never bitter that he's not on the show because he's always doing way, way cooler stuff <laughs> than being in my basement. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Let's <laughs> <laughs> not get crazy. My, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Your watch. Yeah, <laughs> if you, I don't know if you heard, but Chachi, Chachi says his watch just went off, and he went and looked at it. That, that, that kept happening to me too, and I was kept. <laughs> people kept messaging me, and I'm like, well, I'm not checking this for a while. Um, <laughs> Chachi's still in there. This is great. This is great stuff. Uh, so I hope you guys check out the video version to see everybody bounce around uh, uh, the HTC Vive. Um, <laughs> no big. <laughs> no big. <laughs> and of course, I take it. You just threw it in the sun. Jupiter bounces and goes back to where it's supposed to. He's playing the solar system. That's great. <laughs> He's throwing plants around. <laughs> Here goes Saturn. Oh, wow. This is amazing. Um, we'll, we'll have him on uh, in a little bit to kind of get his vibe because this is the only way to really know how VR works is to, you know, get in that headset and, and actually play with it. And, and the, the vibe it seems like the most interesting because, like. He's standing. He can't pick up the sun. He's got controllers. He can mostly see his hands. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So, um, so I wanted to touch on a little bit some things that happened in the uh, last six years when we started. 2010, June 1st, 2010 is the post date, which means we probably did the end of May. Um, the iPad was introduced that year. Oh. Uh, had it been introduced by, the time by this article I found at the Atlantic? It was introduced <laughs> that year. Okay. It might not have been out yet because I think it came out like later in the summer, say, I right? I, I, yeah, I think that was later. I, was later yeah, not necessarily like when we broadcast, mm -hmm. but I'm just kind of grouping the year. Mm -hmm. um, so that was really kind of the rise of tablets. Mm -hmm. Well, we had a few kind of random Android things that were just giant Android phones, I think, at that point. Mm -hmm. But uh, that was really kind of the game changer. I have two of them. That I'm still trying to figure out what to do with every once in a while. <laughs> they don't die. That's the greatest part about iPads. They hold up. You can't run a whole lot on them, but they still run. So. Forever. Also, the rise of Groupon. Oh, man, Groupon. Wow. Who doesn't okay. love Groupon? Well, Groupon's not exactly what it used to be anymore, huh? No, no. Hmm. Hmm. Gr Groupon was a, was, a, was a subject for one of the stories in Veep in the last couple weeks. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know. Have we, like, have we just gotten past the Groupon thing? Like, they're still out there. There was, like, how many? Living Social. Like, there's, there's like, what? newspapers have tried that thing for a while. Well, I think once Groupon, they were, like, the, the OGs of it. And then everybody jumped on board, and it was too hard to keep up with everything. And then you just get inundated with, oh, by the way, like, Half Duck or whatever. Um, just Pay Half was uh, PXIs, I think. Yep. and everybody got their own and it was like this is too much to keep up with yeah once they like hyper regionalized it like yeah. it was oh there's some stuff going down <laughs> in my ass. there's some stuff going it's about to get real and overwatch back there apparently there was, um, there was some backlash to there, uh with the merchants who were using groupon and, and not yeah. happy with how they were treated too um mm -hmm. and that's by think, groupon you mean yes mm -hmm. yeah. yes um that, that's a that's a pretty demanding arrangement and in a lot of cases um i think especially if you're like talking about restaurants and, and stuff like that they found it didn't make a whole lot of sense mm -mm. for them. restaurants especially um there was a, a friend of ours uh that that was saying that in the restaurant business it's just like that that what you lose in overhead was mm -hmm. ridiculous mm -hmm. so if you had more of an intangible thing that like that had a crazy markup yeah go for it yeah. and plus yeah. there was there was just no proof that people came back yeah right like, like people right. for the deal were for the deal and, and and didn't really you know tack onto the businesses you know mm -hmm. so um so there you go. Uh, they're still around. They're still doing stuff. So. Oh, yeah. And I, I still get several emails a day. Several I, emails yeah. a day. You know you can turn those off. Uh, yeah, I, I know. I should, I should. Seems um, like work. I'm this was interesting. Unsubscribing work. 2010, <laughs> according to The Atlantic, was the year of the Miso blog. Do you remember what a Miso blog was? I don't remember that term being used. Uh, mm. no. What the, what, What's a miso? What okay, okay. Uh, Glad you <laughs> Services like Tumblr and po Posterous. Made their presence felt. Miso. Okay. I wonder what that so stands for. It's, a, it's, a, it's not a micro blog. It's not a mini blog. Okay. 
and of course Twitter and everything was happening too. Mm-hmm. So uh, yeah. Like miso blog. That's miso blog. As I pull out my phone. <laughs> I think they made up a word for this article, but yeah, apparently, cause... but either way, Tumblr was a big deal in 2010. Oh, cool! And it's still, it's still around. It's still around. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. part of Yahoo, so we'll see. Mm-hmm. So, uh, the App Store was around since uh, 2008, uh, and, but uh, that and the e-reader both took off in 2010. Oh, cool. Okay. Okay. That seems right. That, that sounds, yeah. yeah, that sounds about right. That seems right. Not much has changed. They're yeah. both on top. Mm-hmm. I don't know. People, I guess e-readers have kind of floated off a little bit, right? Yeah. Well, we went uh, super digital digital with books, and then everybody went hipster with books and wanted books again. It was some. It's like a rotation. Like a, the re-rise of the bookstore. Actually, I was watching yeah. a uh, Jeff Bezos thing from the uh, Recode conference, or Code conference, or whatever they call it these days. Um, and he was like, yeah, actually, bookstores are kind of coming back. We're mm-hmm. good. And plus, Amazon's, like, making their own physical bookstores. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just, yeah. I'm just switching the chachi, picking up stuff off the floor. This is great. You see, <gasps> you is he back? Oh, there he is. Oh, he's out in the field. Oh, he's out in the field, the and there's a little robot dog. He's shaking his butt. Not chachi the dog. Chachi will probably... There, there he goes. Chachi's shaking, shaking his butt. There he is. There it is. <laughs> wow. Uh, the best idea ever. <laughs> but uh, also that year, uh, we don't have, I don't, you guys aren't as big of gamers here, but in the right place for it, he lost his dog. You <laughs> <laughs> doggy. The Connect, which is kind of the precursor to this wow. crazy stuff Chachi's doing over here. The Connect came out in 2010. Really? And was apparently given up on early 2015 uh, by Xbox. <laughs> yeah. What's that? You gave up after six months. Did you get the Star Wars um, um, dance game? You did. And then you gave up. You could only be Han Solo dancing for so long, right? Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> I love that he's like still part of the show, even though he's out <laughs> yeah. there. Yeah. He's in out a, in the middle of the field. In a field, throwing sticks to virtual robotic dogs. Dog. That that grass looks real as hell. It though. does. That's that's fantastic. Yeah, that's okay. That time we spent, they spent so much on grass and rocks. Yeah, this is why. So that so that you could have this experience right now. You just you, you just pointed at a plug. <laughs> also, really worried that that controller was coming at my face. It, 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 it straps. You don't want the straps on your wrists. I tell you, somebody always. This is the, this is the thing because you had the same experience when when, when I first had it because they like here put the headset on, mm. here I'm gonna put the headphones on and then they hand you the controllers and you see the controllers coming here. again. You don't see the straps or anything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wait wait he's he's in safety mode right now. Yeah, he's good to go. I got the straps. Especially since he's throwing sticks, I'm, I'm yeah. even more concerned about this. Yeah, in our general direction. <laughs> I love I love their shadows for the controllers, but not for you when you look down. Yeah, it's amazing. And this is what we do with all this technology. Um, <laughs> there are dogs. So Six. the other thing that was a big push in 2010: 3D televisions. Oh, yeah. I have yet to that? use a 3D television. Yeah, it's, no. it, you can still get them. It's just kind of. I saw that was that was still Best Buy time for me, so I got to see the early versions of 3D televisions. Oh, I forgot you used to work at Best Buy. Yeah, and they made me want to vomit. Like they were, so, I watched a basketball game, and it was the worst that thing be, I've that ever would be seen. A long time. So much motion. And then the NCAA tournament was also at the um, arena at that point too, mm-hmm. not too far after that. And that was another time I decided to like look at this 3D TV. You're like you're in the game, and I'm like, oh, this is horrible. I'm gonna puke everywhere. <laughs> They're like, you may feel motion sickness. It's like, just a little. <laughs> yes, awesome. I remember writing about this. That's, <laughs> that's going to be the next big thing. Okay, we, we kind of touched base on, on uh, uh, crappy here, but but uh, what how, how where were you technology-wise <laughs> six years I? ago? More television than I am now. Um, mm-hmm. I, I went, you know. You kind of reverted. Because <laughs> I don't know, you know, if you go to Katie's house, like, there's a stack of VHS tapes. Correct. And a VCR. Correct. And she will show you three or four editions of the Star Wars yes. original trilogy on yes. VHS. Correct. That are all different renditions. An applaud <laughs> from the crowd. Thank you. A single 
Solitary. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what are you doing? He's shooting arrows at oh, me. Yeah, he is shooting arrows at you. <laughs> we unfortunately at lost his camera, so we're going to fix that here in, in a break here in a moment. But, um, <laughs> he's, he's shooting arrows. Yeah, he's like pointing at us. We can see it now. <laughs> but, um, but, but yes. yeah, other than that. So, yeah, I've, I've totally, um, in the technology as far as televisions go, I have gone to the past. I am totally retro now. Um, as far as other technology, I'm more hip and cool. Well, I was always on, uh, kind of on the cutting edge of, like, as far as phone technology, because I'm trying to think of 2010, where were we phone-wise? Because that was the big thing. I don't know if we had hit the touch BlackBerry Storm yet, because that was one of the first... I want to look it up now. Yeah, yeah, I think that was about that time. Roughly, yeah, I think BlackBerry Storm was about the touchscreen one. Yeah, it was about that time. And you had that one? Yeah, I had every piece of shit oh, that Verizon so has ever made. Sorry. I am um, so sorry. I had the <laughs> Q, poor, poor Motorola Q. Everything that Verizon said was amazing. And then Why the, did like, you reject iPhone for so long? I don't know. I'm sorry, iPhone. <laughs> I love you. Let's be friends. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm like Blackberry Storm. I still have it, but it's not in some working condition. Right, right. Well, so now we're looking up like what was when, what yeah, was the cool was I don't know. It keeps showing me like the original BlackBerry for like eighty nine bucks on Best Buy. So I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, on that point, I, I think we want to get uh, Dutters in the helmet. No, oh, no. Hopefully, we can we can approach Chachi without him sticking us with a bow and arrow. Oh, he is so into that. I know. I'm really afraid. He is down with that. Oh yeah, because this was also the HTC's. Um, uh, the Sprint HTC Evos. It was the Evo versus the iPhones. Remember the 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 video um, where oh geez, where they had the, there was like a big animation that where you could make the bear talk to the other, and it was like we what? can't do that. Don't you remember that? Yes, 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 I do. yes. yes, I do. yes okay. Yes, I do. Um, it was the, always the Evo versus iPhone. Uh -huh. We can't do that or something. Um, shoot, now I cannot remember. There was a lot of. How many? It was not gigabytes, but it, GBs. How many GBs? How many that was when the GBs came out. <laughs> that when they talked about the, the number of GBs. <laughs> it is the the Android 4G Android phone 1 GB. Yeah, we were at the iPhone 3GS right then. Oh, the, so what was the 1 GB for? Memory? Yeah, I don't remember that actually. That was the Droid Incredible, uh, Google you. Nexus One. There you go. That was big. Um, the Palm Pre Plus. T-Mobile My Touch oh, 3G pre. slider. Yeah, that's when we're still like having this identity crisis with phones a little bit, right? Because like we still have BlackBerry, we still have this pre thing coming out, uh, and and before it really kind of settled, oh hell, uh, Windows Phone just gave up the ghost recently, so but more this, or less. This was uh, HTC's big moment to shine. Um, if you remember that, that was when they kind of took the stage. And now there's an HTC device on Chachi's head. Yes, amazing. So look <laughs> I don't want to read your this review. All right. Well, uh, we're going to... I'm afraid to take it off Chachi's head. He might bite me. We're going to get get this swapped up and uh, see really see, uh, see how Dutters does in virtual reality. The headphones are going on. She's going deep into the nether realm. Chachi is getting out of swinging distance. Oh, actually, crappy. Can Chachi pop in there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If I can be so, Katie Dutters is in virtual reality. She's looking around the lab. If I put my drink Jeez. on the table, is that a problem? If you put your what? Drink on the table. You put your drink on the table. Just don't touch the microphone. I didn't You're know right. how I didn't know how loud it was going to be. So we got Chachi. We got, of course, of Chachi plays oh of a long stint on the awesome cast itself. I'm trying to switch cameras on the I wrong computer here. I was host number two. You were host number two. You were switching the awesome cast for a while. Yeah, I was. You were. You were. You were an integral, integ integral part of the show. And just Katie's just turned around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's just going the other direction. Um, but, but it's probably safer considering where the court is. So, uh, And also with us, Brian Crawford of Rivers Edge Pittsburgh, RiversEdgePGH.com, where we are every Thursday morning. Uh, 8 a.m. after Funny Money. How you Pittsburgh. doing? I'm well. How are you? Good, good. So this good. is your first time in looking for group, right? This is my first time here, yes. Are you, cool. are you much of a game player? I am not, actually. I All of my friends were big gamers when I was growing up, and I never was, so I would always go to these big parties, and I would just kind of 
we would play Halo, and I literally was just like a suicide bomber, and I would just whip <laughs> grenades at people. Well, Friendly it... fire, everything. I'd take like a rocket launcher and just blast somebody at like point blank range. I can't wait until and... you get that headset on now. Yeah, that, that's pretty much how I play games. It's just so. going to be a lot of flailing from, and from yelling. The of and... It, probably. We should probably move this entire setup back 10 feet. Okay. Probably. probably. That would be advised. Probably. probably. Yes. Uh, well, oh, Chachi, you're just coming out of the headset. You're first of us of the night I'm to sweaty. try this out. Your face is sweaty, oh. apparently. I am. Uh, so, what was your experience like? Sorry, I'm responding to your echo and not you. Oh, okay. <laughs> In my headset. To be fair, it was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Because mm -hmm. you, you speculated about this a lot on your own Boss Battle podcast. Right. I, I always said uh, from the beginning, when they started doing Oculus Rift and then the Hive and then all the others, I always assumed that this was going to be some overhyped... Um, underdeveloped piece of technology. Mm -hmm. um, and now, and it, it's kind of funny because I, I restarted reading Ready Player One. Yeah. And a lot of that, all of that book takes place in a headset um, kind of like that. Yeah. In, in yeah. And we've had like several that. movies. We have this existence. I remember it was this really right. horrible virtual reality movie. Right. You know, um, Lawnmower Man. See, this kind of scares me, this technology, because I think. See, have you ever seen Dot Hack Sign? No, uh, it's I an saw, anime. Yeah, yeah. So it used this to be on the Cartoon Network, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. this kid gets like stuck in virtual reality, and he can't wake up. But it's this like craziness, and nobody actually lives in the real world. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. I could see it one day. Well, I could see it. The future is now. So, so Chachi, <laughs> you, and I think you've tried the Oculus in the past as well, right? Yeah. So, so how does that compare? Right now, as far as virtual reality goes, they're about on par. Yeah, I mean, and, and, I mean, and you were on an early version. It was the SDK that they had here. Yeah. Um, I know they do have a consumer version. I don't know if they have it hooked up yet or not, but it's going to be. Uh, it's at this point, um, and I'm just speculating. I only assume that you can get so far with virtual reality as right. it stands right now. I mean, all these companies are only going to get to the same point, mm -hmm. and then it's going to stop until someone has a breakthrough, and then they'll all have that breakthrough. But I mean, it's as good as it's going to be mm -hmm. currently, mm -hmm. and it's incredible. This is the beginning. It is the beginning. <laughs> and of course, this is the hot rod. The, the, this, the, Katie's in the hot rod of... of what? I, I, yeah, I think I think it got shut off. What do you see? This is real. How immersive is it? No, 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 no. I don't. Um, I had no idea where I was in the room. So you guys kept saying I was shooting arrows at you, and that would give me an idea of which way I was facing. But I didn't know how close I actually was. Mm -hmm. And the hardest part is you're you're in the world, so you want to walk around, but you can't, or you're gonna walk into him or the wall or the door. Okay. So I mean, it is. Uh, it, yeah, it's video gamey, but you're in that video game. And I, I mean, there's no, there's no. I feel like it. someone like me would actually enjoy something like this better. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I say that is, I get like almost like and this is the reason why I'm not a big gamer. If I play a game like a game system for too long, I start getting like nauseous almost because I'm staring at the TV for too long. Right. Uh, versus this, you you know, the camera's kind of going with you, so I right. feel like it would probably be something I would enjoy more because I actually prefer like the old school like Mario type of games versus the free moving camera and I think it's because of that motion so I think this where you're actually your head is moving right. with it it would probably be a better well, adjustment it, there's only one way to find out let's do it <laughs> that's to put you in it for a really long time unfortunately we don't have that amount of time <laughs> well honestly if I play a game for like 20 minutes I start I, obviously I don't even have that much time but uh, even that I'm like ugh do, do no, we have I, a, a I think you're right I think you'd be fine VR whenever, yeah. uh, just because like you said you're, just the case. camera moves with you you're not uh, focused yeah. in the same no, spot no, um, you don't have the pixels to deal with mm -hmm. because it doesn't seem like you have pixels yes makes sense you're there so I think yeah you're right this is something more along your lines and you'd be fine yeah I think I would enjoy this awesome awesome so, so the other question is, yeah. you know, we've been through the week. We have been through the week. You've been through the Connect. I've been through the Connect. So you had six months on the Connect, like we said earlier. Yeah. Um, and they started being something really accessible and really interesting, and you know, does this feel like it's on par with that, or does it actually feel like the next level? 
it, it all depends. Um, the difference with the Kinect and the Wii is, at this point, a uh, unit alone, three hundred dollars. Because I mean, doesn't this doesn't the unit cost like what six? Yeah, it's like six hundred just for the headset, and right. you need so a you, significant. Like hardware. they say, the line has been like a fifteen hundred dollar computer wow. at the base level. So you're 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 looking at eighteen hundred dollar price difference. Yeah. Um, wow. Between uh, the Wii and this, so well, I think once that reaches a three hundred dollar price level, or you know what, if it reaches a flat five hundred, I think this is where we're at. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, it, it all de- comes down to money. If they can get this to every household, then this is the future. I think that's possible. I mean, I, we were just talking about an iPod the other day, and I remember, you know, if you had an iPod, you were, you know, you're high and mighty, you got an mm-hmm. iPod, and now you can go pick up an iPod for 50 bucks, so it's going to draw, right. you know. Yeah. And you yeah. can get it at a vending machine in the airport. Yeah. <laughs> so. <I> mean, <laughs> but, but in the meantime, we do have, like, kind of step-ups to this. We have Google Cardboard on the very, no. very low end, right? No. We, we ha- well, no. I know it's not the no. same. You, not even close. Not even close, but not it's a start. Close. It's a start yes. on something like this that, to, to access, like, at least, like, something no, quasi... You're, you're comparing... Essentially, the comparison you're making is a spear to a, the nuke. But, Chelsea, that's going to be how most people... I know. Yeah, I yeah, know, that's going to be the introductory the, thing. Uh, I used, I used you know, the, the Google Cardboard for 10 minutes, and then I put it down. So, so what s- were you doing in it? <laughs> I used... Uh, not even kidding, I, I got it. I downloaded the Star Wars app. Yeah. And then I put it away. That was it? That was it. That was it. It's have sitting some, on a shelf. Luckily, I have I some mean, games for you to try. Yeah. It's, They're not going to be like this, obviously, but. Yeah. What are you, what, she's picking stuff up. Oh, it's a printer! Is that a fish? This world's fantastic in here. Look, I get a blue chest. <laughs> but we're also going to have like Samsung Gears, the the Dream whatever right. that Google's going to put out that yeah. you're going to definitely buy a new phone for. That would uh, that would be a little bit closer and more relative to this yeah. than the Google Cardboard. Uh, PlayStation VR I think is due by the end of the year as well. Really? I don't and trust anything Sony does. You don't trust anything Sony does? Right. <laughs> that's the other question too. You need the camera. It's about a $500 entry when you already have a PlayStation. Right. But still, you should have a quasi comparable uh, situation. Obviously, PlayStation is not going to be as powerful as, as a $1,500 newer PC. <laughs> what is she wiggling at? <laughs> it popped out. It was, it was like a little girl. Oh, she's like punching up. That's crazy. It looks like a, a troll in the box. It is a troll in the box. Wow. It is. It like, uh, like it jumped out. That's crazy. <laughs> this is fantastic. But. It like doesn't said, look like you can get there. This is like, remember when like Crisis came out and you had to have the high-end computer to play that? Yeah. Like this is that equivalent of that. And this yeah. is why we have awesome places like Looking for Group we can experiment with. Because we're not affording this stuff. I know. So uh, get your membership. Yeah, we're very spoiled here, really, to be able to experience this. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot don't. A lot don't. I, I, yeah. I presume eventually like Best Buys will get this. But even that, like do you really want that headset that like... Everybody no. in Best Buy has no. Please, like all no. of, yeah, no. <laughs> Listen to my segment on hygiene from the last show. No. I know I doesn't like peeing in the shower. No. I learned this. Yes, do not pee in the shower. <laughs> if you want to learn about peeing in the shower and how much Brian hates it, go check out riversedgepgh.com. <laughs> yes, don't. Do not pee in the shower. I know you do. <laughs> You're pointing at the camera, so yeah. everybody out there in audio land. Um, so, so, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, so so we, we're talking about kind of, we've been around for six years, and we're talking about the technology of six years ago. Where were you technologically? You were, you were still in college, weren't you? Six years ago, what, what, what is it right. now? Today is 2016, so that would have been, I would have been in high school, actually. I graduated wow. in 2005. And we feel old. <laughs> so... Oh, that's right. You were what? Like the James, my intern, was like in middle school or yeah, something. So no, you're a few years behind me. So yeah, 2005. I that would have been it, right? Or wait, oh, no, I'm jumping no, no, too far back. No, no, I would have been out of high school. I'd have been in college. Yeah, no, I would have been. I don't even know. I'm so so tired. I've been up since up since 8 p.m. So yesterday. 
But Jeez. no, so I would have been out of high school. I'm sorry. Don't feel as old. Um, I feel in many ways I'm much more savvy, but in other ways I'm far, far behind where I was. Uh, so on on sheer gadgets, I think I'm, I'm much further. I was like ahead of the curve when it came to cutting the cord with uh, with the TV with cable. So I had all of the different devices there, uh, but now as I've become busier, I have no time to watch TV. So that's all kind of that's become dated. It's weird. I, I run a business that in many ways is based on technology, but I guess I make the best of really crappy technology you're, you're would be you're also kind of adapting you know kind of older technology you're taking yes. radio and you're putting it in a different place that's true yes we're, we're an online radio station and I think that we do online radio differently than anyone else does because everyone else if they have an online radio station it's literally throwing some songs in a rotation mm -hmm. throwing in some cheesy little segments that just repeat where we have actual content and we're getting actual DJs where you'll be able to tune into the river's edge at different times mm -hmm. and hear an actual DJ selecting music mm -hmm. live so yeah so we are kind of revitalizing traditional radio and moving it online awesome awesome well we want to get some uh, uh, people swapped up here uh, but uh, you know uh, River's Edge PGA so we're so glad to be part of the River's Edge family over there yes thank you and, we uh, love having that's you that's been awesome and, and seeing it grow and seeing the new shows pop up and, and hopefully you know everything everything expands in, uh, in uh, Pittsburgh podcasting and online streaming takes over here in uh, the next six years absolutely so, alright thanks all a lot right. for coming on thank man. you yep. oh my gosh he's going to beat the high score oh he's throwing the coffee cup at the dog your dog is the worst dog we got ever got taker in Vive right now. A few of us have taken turns, but in the meantime, we have a very special guest that just happened to stop by. You never know who's going to drop by looking for group here. Ryan. Oh, hi. Hey. Hi. Hey. Ryan Haggerty with us. We've had him on the show before. <laughs> he's moving the mic. Uh, he's been on the show before on Awesome Chat talking about your film, uh, which just had its premiere right here in the area in Dormont at Hollywood uh, Hollywood Theater. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, a lot of fun. We had uh, a bunch of people come from out of state that acted in the movie. We had uh, a lot of people from Work Hard Pittsburgh, uh, locals, and uh, all at the historic Hollywood Theater in Dormont. So. It's fun to watch watch a movie and find, find out the murderer is sitting right in front of you in the theater. No, oh, jeez. That was really interesting. Yeah, yeah. I, I think so. We filmed back in October, and I haven't seen a lot of these people since then. Mm -hmm. And so I've been staring at a screen, editing, watching their characters, mm -hmm. and then I meet them again in real life, and it's like so disarming because they're re like really nice people, <laughs> but on screen, some of them, as you said, are like very terrible people. Yeah, yeah, not, not so, the greatest. So good, they're good at acting, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> really good, really good at acting. So, like I said, and you said a little bit afterwards when you guys got on the mic to talk to the well, I guess you, you just kind of talked to the crowd, I guess. Uh, but you said about how, how you've been watching this movie and working on this movie on the small screen for so long. Mm -hmm. Well, you got a pretty big monitor there at work hard. Uh, but, uh, but still, to see it on, on the big screen uh, at a theater, a, a nice theater, awesome theater like Hollywood, uh, how, how did that feel to see your work up there? Uh, I'll tell you, like, there's been a lot of 3 a.m. Uh, mornings, nights, whatever you want to call them, for like weeks now, and you know it's it's like all this stress, you know, getting everything ready, and so you're not quite sure how you feel the day of, you know, you're you're doing all this last minute stuff, but to of, see a other of, a lot of stress over Blu-rays, I know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do that like way ahead of time. Yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, so then when you start seeing people come in and they're excited, like the excitement is, uh, it's like very real and motivating, like that energy uh, of everybody coming in and then you're sitting there in that quiet theater and people laugh at something that either they were supposed to or not or whatever, but they react and all of a sudden it's like, okay, okay, you know, the, oh, the movie works. is, yeah, yeah, I mean, the movie is, is happening and for us too, you know, I haven't watched this since December, like all the way through really. Uh, that's when we watched the the very first rough cut. It's kind of cool to see that it all worked, like you said. I mean, the whole thing came together, and it's there on the screen, and it's amazing. So, uh, and I do think that you know we've talked before on your show uh, about people kind of coming back to uh, real, like tangible things, like as we watch somebody wailing around in VR right now. But uh, like 
I don't know. I think movies in general, people are coming back to the theaters to see good movies、mm-hmm. uh, because they're maybe tired of looking at that little screen and they want that experience. So, and it's a group experience too. Well, it's interesting because、um, I work at Scarehouse with Scott Simmons and we are constantly on our phones. We are constantly doing things. And his, one of his escapes is to go to the movies. He's、okay. like, I have to shut my phone off. He's like, I can't. You know, my phone's off. I'm immersed in an experience, and he's like, "That's my escape for movies." That's, that's the same with me too. It's the only、mm-hmm. time. It is the only time I will not go look at my phone. Is I'm in a theater,、mm-hmm. it's off. That's it, right? I can't even watch TV and catch up on my shows without it, right? Well, and you generally, I think,、uh, there's a lot of nostalgia for people of different generations. But、um, you know, the comic book movies are probably a really good example of something that people get together in groups because they either read it or they knew、mm-hmm. the character or whatever. Uh, and it's a very popular thing for people to kind of plan. You know, it's like, when are you going to see it? Because that's when I want to see、mm-hmm. it.、Uh, so I think people having a connection to whether it's the story or characters or you know people that made it or whatever,、um, it, it is very, a very real like you know energy that is, is there with everybody. So even, even like the sad movies, there was、uh, there's one coming out. So、oh, us before I can't remember the gentleman ends up in a wheelchair and she takes care of him. And it's supposed to be a huge tearjerker and. It's like wow, that it's gonna be a really sad movie, but you don't necessarily feel those emotions in your daily life, and sometimes you just want to feel those emotions. And movies are able to transport you, and those have those emotions, like you're angry, you're upset, or you're sad, or you're happy, and then you take them from whatever your normal day life is, and then kind of put you in a different space, and you're like, wow, okay, it's fun to experience those emotions. And you're there with them for, you know, ours was around an hour and a half. Like that whole time, you're kind of there in the middle of that, like you said,、uh, experiencing that. So. So,、um, you know, getting the audience hooked early on and like getting them to believe that the world was real and everything、yeah. was really important. Which、uh, the movie takes place out in the middle of the woods during the fall, and it's just like gorgeous scenery. And I think seeing that on a giant screen,、um, you know, as much as、uh, VR and 3D and everything's all immersive, I think sometimes just having a big giant screen is is the way to go.、Mm-hmm. Sitting there, and of course, you know I'm going to analyze the movie because you know, the, you know,、no、being, being a videographer and everything. But how long did you have to sit there to wait for the deer to come to get shot? <laughs> <laughs> like I'm just like I wonder how long it took him to get、um, that shot. Well, it was actually out at a deer ranch, so oh, oh, yeah, that's, that's a secret. Yeah, after you film for 13 days and then go to Philadelphia for a day, like I I don't know, I probably would have died was, out in the woods sitting there and from to the deer. Gotcha. Yeah, but <laughs> the weather didn't cooperate. Like.、Uh, The you know the scene we film with the hunter you know is obviously sunny and all that and the day I went to film the deer originally it was like raining and then it snowed at one point and it was just like wow I'm glad I came out here to freeze to death but you know、uh, the the people that worked with us that allowed us to come out there and do that like all the locations were very generous like they allow us to come out and do that stuff more than once without having to you know pay anything they just wanted to be a part of the movie. Uh, I have to state.、Uh, I think this is a testament to your、um, to your uh, 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 makeup effects because uh,、um, there's there's a certain scene at the end that that something you know very physical happens、uh, to somebody's leg, and uh, uh, my wife was wincing and hiding her face because. <laughs> Yeah, so it, 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 so that's a testament. That's a oh testament wow,、there. yeah. So, well, like, we, I hope I don't spoil it a little bit with that. No, but, no. The, like it was cool, like being on set and seeing the special effects put together. Like you guys、mm-hmm. see a lot of this, right?、Mm-hmm. Um, so anytime I get to experience something new that somebody's really, really good at,、mm-hmm. it is like you know, it's 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 kind of humbling that somebody is that good at what they do.、Uh, and、uh, Nora Hewitt was the makeup artist, and she. Like every little challenge we threw at her. Oh, that's funny. Sorry, we are distracting us. He's drawing stuff on the wall. Cats. See, he's a VR artist. He's a VR artist. There he is. That's just like real, real dry erase marker. I, I believe it. Um, Anyways, but yeah, I mean, the most multitasking show we've ever done. Yeah, I like it. But yeah, so like any 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 part of that experience for us as filmmakers, where we get to see somebody do something new that they're really good at,、uh, which we'll have a lot of behind the scenes that'll come out on like Blu-ray and DVD that'll show some of that stuff. But、um, it's always fun to learn. So like、uh, I was going to mention the 
the whole scarehouse thing um, is another like real visceral experience, and I imagine people are probably coming back to that kind of thing in yeah. droves. I mean, not that they never went away, but no, it's another place where you kind of drop into an experience. Um, whether you know it's more intense in the basement or upstairs at the regular haunts, it's just having that physical feeling. And, and research have shown how much you know fear is good for us, mm. and having that different rush of adrenaline that you don't want. You know, I don't want to be chased by a real murderer out here, but you know something scary that jumps out at me, I'm like, oh, fear is cool. <laughs> you know, that's in a safe, controlled environment. But yeah, that's a lot of what we're seeing now is kind of going back to that kind of, oh, wow, I'm in, immersed in this environment. Things are safe, but it's kind of scary. I love that we're talking about immersive environments when this is happening in front of us. <laughs> yeah. so, I mean... Uh, oh, is it, oh, there's some sort of body. Oh, what are you? Whoa. <laughs> so, whoa. Ryan, thank you so much for yeah, yeah. joining us. Good luck with everything. Oh, we're doing well, surgery. What, what's, what's coming up next with the movie? I know you have a few premieres coming up. Um, um, where, so, where, where can people see this thing? So, uh, it'll be up in Dubois at the Wrights Theater uh, this Friday, June 3rd. And then we will have another screening up in that area in July, July 9th, up in Clearfield at the Ritz Theater. Uh, and we'll just keep posting stuff like that, and then uh, eventually we'll be able to put it out on DVD and streaming and all that fun stuff. But yeah, well, stay tuned. Awesome, check that out. And what's the website? Uh, BOTLmovie.com. Blood on the leaves. Thank you so much for joining us. Woo! <laughs> all right, I'm not virtually leaving. I'm really yeah, yeah, leaving. Yeah. Thank oh, you. Right. Thank you. Soon. <laughs> all right, let's go. Crappy. What's your thoughts? I was in a virtual world. I pet a virtual dog. I threw him virtual sticks. <laughs> now I want an HTC Vive. I want to spend a gazillion dollars on this thing so I can throw virtual sticks at Yeah, you. I just need to. We are still watching virtual reality here, but maybe not for long because I think the battery's dying, but that's okay. We got uh, back in here, uh, uh, back from the virtual world. What's that? You're Do going I back in? What about Missy? Does Missy want to go in? Missy. Anyways, we got Uncle Crappy back in here. Dutters is still here. You guys are a, a post VR experience. Mm -hmm. uh, Crappy, what do you think? Um, I, 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 it's really cool, and we're we're kind of being careful because we have a small space that is watching the video. You can see that, and there are people around, and we don't want to cause any injuries. If I actually put like the headphones on all the way. Um, I'm just, I'm lost completely. I, I am completely immersed in whatever's going on in front of me. Um, it is, it is that good. Um, and I like to, I like being, to be able to hang out with uh, Rob in Iceland. Virtually, <laughs> for for a couple it minutes. It looked just like his Instagram account. It's it really amazing. Did. It really did. It was, but with robot dogs. With, with robot dogs in the sticks. I don't know if I he's doing a lot of that. I gotta see if he has any robot dogs up there. Somebody tweet him. Yeah, uh, Rob, 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 Rob JDOC on the Twitter. <laughs> say, where, where's, where's the Instagrams of your robot dogs? But that's awesome. Uh, Katie, what'd you think? Oh, it was amazing. I want one now. <laughs> like, I have, yeah. I have, like, we were talking about the virtual experiences that we'd absolutely love, and, and now I want one. Even just to throw the virtual... I was throwing objects, and it was so much fun. I was just tossing stuff. I'm like, this is great. You were writing on the whiteboard, yeah. and I know our, our friend here was just doing the same thing. Um, I mean, I could do this in real life. I could toss things right now. Look, Chachi's hat, go on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> but that doesn't bring me as much joy as, like, tossing things in a virtual world. No, it's not. <laughs> that belongs to the house, Chachi. Don't have anything to throw. Uh -huh. and my mother. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't, don't throw her things. <laughs> and is getting back in. Chachi's going back in. He's going under the helmet. Um, awesome, awesome. So, so, so. I, obviously, I, I know you were looking it up a little bit sticker shock for this thing. It's I think an eight hundred dollars set before the computer. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, it's it's, it's a little pricey, but um, um, I would have to figure out some applications beyond my enjoyment. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Look at him go. Chachi, Chachi's, Chachi's he's self, he's this. self applying this thing. Look at him. He looks like a pro. This is his second go around. He knows. Nope, nope, nope. The, no, the cord's got him. He can't get around the cord. Oh, no, he's gonna there go. he goes. There he goes. Uh, but uh, <laughs> anyways, I, I think it was a pretty good experiment here. But hey, six years, virtual reality is a thing. Yeah, and, who would have guessed uh, that? Yeah. Well, awesome. I mean, no. let's, let's say who would have guessed it in this form. Because virtual reality has been a thing, like on the cusp sure. of for how many years now? Sort of. Yeah. <laughs> like we were almost there in these like really goofy ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we don't have like like you know think about those that you did have like in the malls in like the nineties right. where it was like you know you had a smaller area 
and you had like a railings, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And, and and whereas this has, I, did you guys experience like, did you like ever walk up and you saw like the latticed wall that, that was supposed to keep you in bounds? Mm-hmm. Like, yes. like that's yes. your virtual. I, kind of- I did a story about this um, years and I mean long long before Awesome Cast was the thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and 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 this is uh, a real kind of stark reminder of exactly how far that's come. Mm-hmm. Um, that that was that was a cool experience at the time. How long? But, you, but so much more limiting. Yeah. How long have you been writing for uh, like about technology? Well, I wrote the tech column uh, when I worked at the newspaper in Beaver for the last three or four years. I was there. Okay. Um, I mean, it's always been an interest, and and it, you know, it's, if a story came up, I was usually the one who kind of glommed on to it because I wanted to. Um, but but the tech column was something that I, I did every week for, for a while. Mm-hmm. And what, what was the outlook of virtual reality when you were kind of looking into it around, uh, I imagine, that era? It really was, yeah, it was really, uh, it's kind of what you described, because sort mm-hmm. of... Late uh, 2000s, right? Yeah. 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 Um, and I remember, I, I don't remember a whole lot about, uh, about where we did this, or if it was something, it might have, might have been at a mall somewhere. But it was, it was... Um, uh, not nearly as active as this. Um, uh, certainly not as as rich visually. Uh, not no, nothing even close. But I remember at that point, just kind of again, already you're you're already immersed. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, it was with the eyes like and a two D plane. That was yeah. like a line yeah. that you were like, look, now there's that depth perception. Like if you were drawing, I forget what they call that point, but it was like that's what it was. It was just lines that mm-hmm. were kind of mm-hmm. not real environmentally. <laughs> Josh, you're doing great. You just pulled a cake out of the drawer virtually. Um, so Chachi Tell is me how weird. virtual cake tastes. Mm, that's the next thing they got. That was we'll nasty looking camera. cake, by the way. But anyways, yeah. uh, but uh, really interesting. Again, you know, hey, if you're in Pittsburgh area looking for groups over here in Brookline, go check this out. And uh, <laughs> Josh is giggling at something. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, Don't look, look into the drawer. Don't look directly into the drawer. Oh, because the cake's a lie. I got gotcha. you. All right, we are uh, still here looking for group. Chachi is back into it. He's playing uh, Job Simulator, and I gotta say, he is the most active that of any games that anybody's played, even, even though he played earlier. <laughs> He's just all over the place. He, John he'd Lang, also be the worst convenience store clerk of all time. Honestly, also, yes. John Lang was with us from Looking for Group, the hello, hello. Uh, proprietors of this place. How are things going? Going great. Oh, good. We haven't. I mean. So you've had the helmets here for a little bit. Um, well, the, the the Vive in particular for, for just a few weeks here. Um, are you concerned for people's safety? <laughs> <laughs> like, where, where was I saying earlier? Like, you might need a waiver for this. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> for the most part, people haven't gone falling into walls. People that are that look to be prone to that, we try to make sure that uh, we oh, have right. someone there's, nearby there's like spotting a, them. There's a clearance kind of for yeah. that. Yeah. And... Uh, We've had one person we had to say, nope, you're not allowed to use it anymore because they would not listen to any of the instructions, but everyone else has been totally fine. And The safe has cheese in it. The safe has, the safe has <laughs> cheese on it. Chachi is about crawling on the floor right, right now. Supersize it. And, uh, and then he showed us the cheese with the, with the empty controller, by the way. Right. Uh, but really, the, the Vive and the Oculus are both so good at tracking that most people don't get like dizzy or f- like fall over or anything like that. Like the f- first, the first version of the Oculus had some issues there, mm-hmm. but at this point, it's totally fine. Yeah, yeah. What we're th- uh, Katie was talking about before, like the issues when we had the Samsung Gear uh, mm-hmm. in, and of course yeah. that's like you know it's lower powered. It's not you know it's not as attuned as as these things are, and and even you know the Oculus has gotten better even since the the, the model you've had in here right. uh, for for a while. Uh, so. It's a, it seems like it's in, a, in the right place now. Yeah, it's definitely uh, public friendly for use, but it's not public friendly for uh, setup so much. No. Uh, actually, like having the setup all, all in your house or in wherever and making sure it runs all the time and dealing with technical issues, right. that's not consumer friendly yet. Yeah, in the space you have to dedicate here, um, you 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 have a pretty wide area here in the back. Uh, up, but also it's it's dangerous for the coworkers to be coming out of the back as we discovered <laughs> throughout the evening here. Yeah, uh, I think everyone here is getting used to when the person has the VR helmet on, you sit there and watch how they're moving, yeah. and you time it like Frogger. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
Right. right. So looking for group VR Frogger. <laughs> right. Um, really funny because I did find like Crossy Roads for the Google Cardboard the uh-huh. other day, and uh, that seemed that seemed about right. Maybe that's what we'll, we'll need to get Chachi back into the idea of cardboard in the meantime until he can save his pennies for this. Um, right. But <laughs> that's all. Awesome. He's gonna win the lottery. He's well uh, scratching those virtual tickets in the uh, job simulator. will do it. There he goes again. Nope. Uh, nope, sorry. sorry. Oh, oh, he lost. Loser. No, you're a loser. But anyways, um, so how are things going here? You guys have been, man, you guys, you're coming up, you're probably a couple months out from a year here, right? Yeah, we uh, opened end of September, mm-hmm. and it's, what what month is it now, June? It, oh, my God. June. So we, we're we about three months out, I guess, from, from hitting a year. Everything's going really awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, right now, we're, like, in the slump of releases coming out for games, mm-hmm. which is both a blessing and a curse, because we don't have to pay for new games, which is great, yeah. but... Um, other than Overwatch, yeah, but which everybody's playing behind every, us. Everyone here. is into, and uh, but you know the weather just got nice, so there aren't as many people coming in. Although mm-hmm. as soon as the weather gets a little hotter, because mm-hmm. we already had a really hot day where people were coming in just for the air conditioning. Yeah, yeah like can we pay nice to feature. hang out for a while and say yes? That is totally a setup we have. So you, you should put the <laughs> yes we have air conditioning sign out front. Yeah, yeah, it's it's about time to to put that out there. Oh, uh, awesome! Like a big flashing sign. Yes, we have AC. <laughs> um, so so you're seeing that like whenever like, like I guess probably Christmas had been your craziest time if that's the, the case. So, like, surprisingly just, enough, yeah. so Christmas was decent. Yeah. But so far, and we haven't had a whole year yet, and you know. Every week, new people find out about us. Yeah. And so we get new people in every week, probably every day. At this point, we get someone new finding out about us and coming in and talking to us. Uh, but so far, our busiest time has been uh, right around tax season. Everyone's getting their returns, and everyone bought their kids 10-day passes. We we offer, like, a 10-day wow. pass for, oh. like, 100 bucks. You come in, use, use your day whenever you want. Yeah. We have, like, an all-day pass. You can come in for 20 bucks and play all day. So people buy their kids with their uh, returns, those things, and the kids loved them. We were packed from like <laughs> middle of March through the end of April wow. with kids using those. It was great. Um, so that's that, I think, has maybe been our busiest time, but it's also like every month is slightly busier than the last. Mm-hmm. So um, we're... We're still growing, and it's awesome. Awesome. So, so I, I know we talked about early on. I, I think partially on the interview, partially uh, in person. Um, you find interesting um, technical issues, and and uh, with 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 managing all the hardware and everything <laughs> like that. Uh, so, so uh, this far in, almost a year in, uh, what has been like the craziest? Like, really, I can't do that, or really, we have to manage that kind of thing that you really didn't think about getting into this that kind of surprised you. Um, so one of the biggest things that we've had to deal with is dealing with the way consoles go online. Mm. So consoles are built to be put in someone's house. Yeah. They're built to be go online via someone's cheap Linksys router, right? Mm-hmm. So when we built this place out, I put a nice corporate style, large business router to run everything. And, you know, I can do all the networking and everything. But it turns out that there is a super insecure thing that consoles expect to be on your network, which all home routers have, called UPnP, oh. which basically is what allows your Xbox to go out and host games. That's it says, idea. hey, I'm an Xbox here. I want to host games on this port. Please open this up. And in a corporate environment, having people just open up ports whenever they want is no good. Like, that's right. not a thing. Because you... Uh, and as many people that come through here on, on computers and everything, you want to have a pretty secure setup too, yes. right? Yes, but for consoles, and we've started doing um, Call of Duty tournaments where we're running, you know, eight Xbox Ones and eight PS4s, or actually nine of each, so we can wow. have casters going. And, like, the the networking to make it work, we actually have a cheap Linksys router downstairs. <laughs> and we have our good router acting like an internet gateway for that cheap one, and mm-hmm. all of the consoles go through the cheap one just because that's the only way just we can get them through. to like actually pass you know through and not have strict. Nap. I used to have to do the same thing to get my Wii online. Yeah, <laughs> just like it yep. was, I don't know if it was because it was a cheap or something like that, but like the one that came with FiOS just did not want to get online with Wii. So, yeah, yeah, it's just the dumbest little thing. It's like why can't I set this up like a proper 
network admin would want to. Oh, we have another guest on the show. Hello. <laughs> hey. How's it going, Saturn? Ice cream's here. Okay, well, why here? don't you uh, start on the All ice right. cream, and I'll come by and share it with well, you in a little bit, okay? let you go here so you can get on the ice cream. Uh, Crappy, this is your first time here at Looking for Group. Uh, 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 it's a really, really cool place, and this is a really cool experience. The, the, the VR is the first time that I've been able to jump into it since we were, we were talking about some things, uh, kind of uh, like shopping mall experiences uh, 10, 15 years ago. Um, oh, I remember those. This, those, yeah. those were those were very impressive at the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but this is this is a whole different thing. Uh, <laughs> really cool thing to be able to check out. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you for hosting us again. And let's use yeah. your hardware. The, 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 we're running a recording on their hardware here. They got a sweet setup. Uh, uh, well, real quick. Um, yeah. What are you doing with that? Where can people find what you're doing? Straight live okay, from so, Looking for Group. So if you want to watch our live stuff, we do a lot of different things from Looking for Group. Uh, we're really a community space that's gaming focused, but people want to come in and do different stuff. They're totally welcome to come in and use our stuff and do any kind of... Well, we're, we're set up very well to publish what you're doing out onto the internet via video. Mm -hmm. is, is really... Because that's what we do every Tuesday. We run League of Legends. Yep, I, get the no I get the notification while I'm doing the show, and I'm like, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah, we uh, scheduled that uh, directly during yours. So that doesn't yes, work too yes, well. But yes. uh, Thursdays, we're hoping to start getting enough people for Overwatch on Thursdays so nice. we can have casters and commentate and learn how to do tournament Overwatch, which nice. will be very exciting. And we, um, we are doing on, so Saturday, I think this month, Saturday is the 4th, right? Sounds right. June 4th. We are doing a comedy show here, and we've done two previous ones. We have uh, stand-up comics come in. It's hosted by uh, a local Pittsburgh uh, lady, Amanda Avril, and we put that out on Twitch live while it's happening. We set wow. it up. We stream it out on Twitch. All the comedians come and have a great time, and actually they really love it because now they have two things that they've told us that they really love. One is they now have a link that they can send to someone and say, here's my set. This is, what, this is yeah. how I do my set, which mm -hmm. is awesome for them. The other is they can send a link to their mom and be like, hey, mom, come watch. Like, I know you're never going to come out and see me live. Right, because how many comedy places are streaming like that? No you know, one. No yeah. one. We are the only one that does it. And it just happens to be that uh, Amanda happens to know someone. Uh, I think she knows Ed, one of the owners, mm -hmm. um, and got a hold of him. And we we're like, yeah, you. we have a space that you could come do comedy shows. And we know how to stream stuff. Do you want us to stream it for you? And mm -hmm. they said, yes. And so that's what we do every. That's one of the things we do every month, and uh, you know, just as more people show up and want to want to do things, we uh, will keep streaming it out. Chachi's Chachi's trying to show me a virtual book over here, apparently. So <laughs> yes, it's called the Internet: More Than Just a Series of Tubes and What? For email. It, for tubes and for email. Yes. <laughs> sorry, like the other book, How to. Uh, how to job. Greetings from Job City. Job, job. Oh, job Simulator is amazing. amazing. Uh, well, thank you so much. LFGPGH.com. That's right. That's uh, where you find all the information. Yep. Twitch.tv slash LFGPGH and Facebook slash LFGPGH. Basically, anywhere on the internet that you could add a name to, add slash LFGPGH, and we will probably show up. Twitter, Instagram. Yep. Yep. Everywhere. Yep. Thank you so much. Woo. Well, right, with thank that. Thank you. Thank you, everybody that's joined us on here, uh, live from Looking for Group Pittsburgh and Brookline in the Pittsburgh, PA. Uh, again, very Pittsburgh on the sixth year. Thank you for everybody that's been listening, watching, uh, sharing, been on the show uh, this entire time, or parts of, parts of the time, or, or hosts over the years. Um, it's been really awesome to do this uh, uh, for six years, and, um, and, and not even feeling like it was six years, you know, until you look at that list of technology that we were talking about right. six years ago in 2010. Yes. You know? yes. But uh, uh, thank you so much. Check out everythingawesomecast.net. You know the spiel if you've been listening, if you got through this thing and hung out with us for this long. Um, thanks, everybody. You've been our awesome audience and co-hosts and everything in this awesome space. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.